All right, I am here with George McPhail, our shop tech with over 40 years repair experience. In this video, I'm going to be following George through the Plex process. A lot of our customers are familiar with the Plex machine, but they don't exactly know how it functions or uh, exactly what it does. So uh, one of the things that we've learned after doing a few thousand of these is that the Plex process itself is very much like uh, playing a guitar and that uh, the guitar doesn't play itself. So the guy at the helm really makes or breaks the job. And that's where George comes in. He runs the machine on most days and uh, has an incredible process worked out uh, that usually takes about 90 minutes from start to finish. So George, what are we gonna be doing today? Today we're going to pluck the frets on a made in Mexico Fender Stratocaster. Then we will install, cut and finish a new bone nut I'll then polish the frets with my 11 step process and finish off with a uh, full setup to the instrument. So I noticed you said it was a Mexican standard Stratocaster. How come you guys picked that guitar? Well, more expensive guitars are great, uh, but we want something more cookie cutter with more consistency from guitar to guitar so that when you play several of them back to back, you'll notice less of a difference between them. Well, now that we know what we're going to be doing, let's uh, go do it. Sounds good. Let's go for it. <laughs> Guitar is also strung up and in tune just how you play it. Or they want that because uh, measuring it with tension on the neck gets you a more accurate yeah, cut. You see every twist and turn, hump and dip that you get when you tune the guitar up to pitch. If you just go and synthesize tension on it by pushing up on the back of it, it's not as accurate as having the actual string set on there just how the guitar is played. The next thing we will do is go into a scan mode. This will be the first scan mode, just to see what is going on with the guitar as it sets right now. When it's done uh, with all the measurements, it's going to show us the radius in three positions, the relief of the neck, and the top of the frets to show us everything that's going on with the neck. Right now it is measuring every string from the first fret all the way up to the 21st fret on here. It has already measured the width of the neck at the 12th and 1st fret, the string spacing, and now it is measuring uh, every top of every fret to show us how even the fret is and the relief in the fingerboard. First is this is going to show me the fingerboard itself, uh, how straight that the, uh, the, the neck is and the wood on it. We do have a grading of one which is a good place to usually cut a neck at. Next we will look at, we're going to be looking at the actual frets themselves. Each uh, string here, this is the E string, A, D, G, B, and high E string. The green line is the desirable straight line, even though it looks like it's a curve, it is a straight line. The red is what needs to come off. Okay. This is not bad. Uh, I, this guitar is actually uh, you know, fairly decent. I've seen guitars where they are uh, much, much higher. So this area is a little <clears throat> bit... Uh, well, here we're giving it again a little extra fall off up there without taking off too much uh, fret itself. That way, as you play up on the lower frets, the neck, it's uh, all the lower, uh, the lower string will play much cleaner as you get up the neck also. Okay, so basically like those little bumps that are showed up or the differences between the green and the red, those are friction spots on the fretboard essentially. They're, they're high frets. High fr yeah, okay, cool. So that makes it easy to sort of visualize what we're doing here with the plaque. We're just kind of taking the top of the frets that down. as little as possible. When you do it by hand, no matter how good you are, you're always going to take off more metal than a pleck machine. The idea of the pleck machine, again, is to take off the least amount of metal so your frets last longer. I've done thousands of them uh, by hand, and even on our best day, you can put all of us together, and the machine still does a much better job. Right now we're going into the process mode, which is the fret cutting mode. The first scan we did was to, to get the relief of the neck and see if we needed to do any neck adjustments, things like that, get a rough idea uh, if there is enough uh, fret uh, to work with on the guitar. Sometimes when you do a, uh, we scan a guitar, uh, it turns out to be a refret because there's not enough metal after cutting to allow you to cut the frets down. Yeah, this, uh, now I'm telling the machine exactly what we're going to be uh, taking off. As you can see, all the red areas are the areas we'll be uh, uh, taking off the top of the fret. Everybody wants to get the, the lowest action with the least amount of buzz, and that's what this process is all about, to get the guitar to play the best for you, 
Uh, after this, we'll be uh, loosening the strings up, wrapping around the back of the neck, and the cutting uh, process will uh, continue from there. Once I close the door, now that the strings are off, the machine is going to come over, the finger is going to go and measure the top of every foot again, make sure it's still the same. They say once I close the door and it does that scan, it will go into the cut mode after that. this too, it's a crown cutting blade. When you do it by hand, you have to flat file first, then you get out your crowning files to go back and put the crown back on the uh, fret again. This has three different crown cutting blades depending on the fret size, which allows each fret to be cut and crowned at the same time. It's just got done cutting the frets. The uh, sensing finger is going over each of the frets and each of the positions of the six strings, making sure that each fret height is exactly what it wanted to be cut to. Now we're going to restring the guitar and do the final scan. fret dress quality has been achieved. Okay, now the machine's done scanning. The final scan is over. This is the completed work on each of the strings. This is the low E string. There are actually two lines here. They are so close together now, that shows that that string is now perfect. Before, there was a red line above the green. Now, as you can see, it's even all the way up and down the whole neck. That's the low E string. And I like to see any human being try and get this accuracy. This is a CNC, which is so accurate, there is no human possibly that can do this type of work. Uh, that is the beauty of the plec process. Uh, it will cut each nut slot perfectly width-wise and also depth-wise. We tell it how high off the first fret we actually want it to be uh, relieved. Now, you still, of course, it's just cut. You still have to do all the smoothing and polishing of the nut, but the spacing is done, the depth is done, it's cut perfectly. From here, all we have to do is trim it and polish it. Now that the nut is cut, polished, ready to go, 
the frets are cut. All we have to do now is polish the frets and do the final setup. So for the next uh, about half hour we'll be doing a, a little fret polishing here. I have several steps I take. I like to have the frets, frets very glassy and mirror-like when they're done. So I, I take extra time doing that type of work on them. Uh, you can do a quick polish and stuff on them, but I, I still believe the more time you take with it, the better they feel and look when you're done with it. Now that the fret work and the nut work is all done, the final step is to finally set up the guitar one more time and get the best action on it with the best playability for you. Okay, now that it's all done, ready to go, set up, ready to play, we're going to have three of our employees do a play test out here. We're going to have them sit down, we're going to take three different guitars, have them play these guitars and see if they can pick out which one is the guitar that has been plucked. The middle one? Yep, easily. This one. <laughs> Which one was that? This one. Here. Right. Oh yeah, it's like this one. So all three guys picked up on it pretty quickly. Uh, we made sure not to let them know which guitar we had done during the process so that we got a fair assessment. But don't take our word for it. We've got all three guitars here in the shop, at least for a little while. So come on down. Play test them for yourself and see if you can pick out the differences between them. So uh, at this point, Georgie, do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Yeah, I say it is pretty obvious because I've done you know thousands of levels and crowns by hand, and no matter how good of a tech you are, uh, you can tie all this together on our best day, and we cannot do what the machine does. Uh, this is a CNC; it's measuring down to hundred thousands. It sees everything. I don't care what kind of straight edge or neck jig you have. Uh, this is the only process that can actually have this accuracy uh, for doing a leveling crown to these frets. You will get the best playability you ever had on any guitar you owned. Uh, we can guarantee that for you. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's indicative by all of these really kind of high tier manufacturers getting pluck machines now and incorporating them during the, bur the build process. Oh, of course. You yes. know, you're seeing very, very reputable brands, you know, Taylor, Martin, Gibson Custom Shop, like all of these companies are putting these machines in their factories simply because they do a better job, they do a faster job, and it's far more efficient for the tax. Well, they're actually trying to address something they really haven't done much before. Uh, I think Paul Reed Smith was the only company that really did try to do anything, and they, they do it by hand, they do a great job, but all these other companies doing the pike machines now will definitely have the best playability straight from the factory also. Kind of a win-win for all of us, huh? Win-win for everybody, yes <laughs> it is, absolutely. Well, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us today. Hopefully you found this video informative and interesting, at least for all our uh, guitar tech enthusiast friends out there. If you have any questions, Feel free to leave us a comment or message us directly. Uh, you can also find out more information about uh, us at musicgalleryinc.com or just give the Pleck Machine a Google and you're sure to find hours and hours worth of entertainment. So thanks again for tuning in. I'm Matt Jenkins. This is George McPhail from the Music Gallery signing off.